What's going on, MMA fans? I'm here to do my Elite XC uh, Return of the King review video. Um, this was a really, really good card. Um, and uh, for, I got to watch the uh, four fights that I did uh, predictions on. And uh, of course, I didn't get to see it live, but I just went back and watched the fights. And I'm going to run down each one, um, work my way from the top to the bottom. Um, first fight of the night was KJ Nunes versus Eve Edwards. Um, best thing I can say about this is both guys exchanged. Eve's got caught. And, <laughs> I mean, he got dropped uh, with, a, with a straight, I think it was a straight right. And um, KJ just started pounding on him with, and, and that's one thing about KJ I will say, is he's got killer instinct. And as soon as he drops you or he gets you hurt, he goes for the finish. And there was nothing that Eve uh, could do. And KJ wins in the first round via TKO. Um, uh, he tried to throw a, a leg kick, tried to throw a couple combinations, and just got caught. So um, the next fight was Moosin Corbray versus Nick Diaz. Um, Nick came in nine pounds overweight. So this is this is crazy. We saw Tiago Alves come in overweight at the UFC event, and now we see Nick Diaz come in overweight at um, a uh, MMA event um, and I you know this could stem back to um, Nick fighting over in Japan you know of course he was fighting at 170 and it was three weeks out maybe he didn't have enough time to prepare but you know you got to know these things you got to be on, on top of what's going on and if you know you got to make weight for 160 at another event you better prepare yourself um, and so they fight this at a catch weight um, Moose and Corbray um, did really really good and I was surprised um, when Nick was changing levels uh, several parts of this fight um, especially in the first round um, he was able to have pretty good takedown defense and you know stayed out of being able to get taken down um, through some good combinations um, Nick had you know Nick had the range He's got unorthodox striking. He's able to throw combinations and to actually score. Moosin was pretty much just using, you know, uh, counter striking and trying to, to score that way, but he was just getting eaten alive. Um, the second round was much of the same, a lot of clinching. Um, Nick, towards the end of that round, gets a takedown, transitions from uh, half guard to side control, tries to work some, uh, some elbows, but the round ends. Um, and then the third round, we see Nick actually change levels, get loose into the ground after a couple um, exchanges uh, in the stand-up, and just goes from different positions. I mean, he was in you know side control um, to a half guard, trying to work uh, Kimura, um, went for an arm bar, and then finally finishes the fight with a TKO in the mount. Um, did excellent. Um, you know, the, the only knock on Nick in this fight is he looked a little gassed. He looked, um, you know, of course, he, he was overweight, which is a serious, serious concern. I always say that about fighters. If you can't make weight, there, you need to evaluate what you're doing in fighting. And it's not just a disrespect to yourself. It's a disrespect to who you're fighting. It just goes to show that you didn't properly train and you didn't take, you know, a serious amount of time in training for your opponent. So, um, you know, Nick... That's the only knock on Nick. Otherwise, he looked pretty good on the ground. But, I mean, he clearly he was way bigger than Moosin. Way, way bigger. And um, Nick takes this fight with a third-round TKO. Um, next fight, Tony Bonello versus Ninja Hua. Um, Bonello, of course, you know, a veteran, um, like I mentioned in my other video. And for some reason, he decides he wants to come out and try to trash talk with Ninja. And uh, uh, Ninja comes out, throws a couple combinations, and... Uh, Bonello tries to throw a, uh, a high kick and actually jumps into guard. Ninja takes him down and just starts going through his guard. Jump from half to side control and just starts throwing some elbows. I mean, it just went on and on and on. And finally, Ninja just gets him into a crucifix position, throws some you know some elbows, goes to mount. Bonello tries to buck him off, goes back to side control, crucifix, elbow, 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 then over, you know... Uh, Crossbody with his right knee and just throws shots and just puts Benello out on the mat. Um, great fight for Ninja. Um, I, like I said, I, I thought that he would outclass Benello and he wins this fight pretty convincingly. 
uh, first round, probably either TKO or a knockout. Probably a knockout because Vanilla looked out on the ground, so I think they're going to give him a knockout. Uh, next fight, Dave Herman versus Ron Waterman. Um, I hadn't seen Herman fight. Um, I only saw parts of the uh, Rinaldi fight, and uh, this kid is this kid's pretty impressive. I was really impressed with him. Um, I didn't know that he had a wrestling background. Got to really uh, hear that, um, you know, from Quadros and um, um, Ronaldo talking, and um, just some things that I didn't know about the guy. And um, he he's he's an interesting uh, an interesting fighter. Um, Ron Waterman, of course, you know, like I said, I thought he would be able to take Herman down. He does take Herman down in the first round. Um, he actually got poked in the eye when they were standing up before actually getting changing levels and getting the takedown. Um, I think he went for uh, uh, a single and got uh, Herman down. But once he got Herman down, he tried to work some ground and pound. Um, Herman kind of scoots up and out, throws like a, a, a flying scissor, flying scissor kick high, and actually just catches uh, Waterman right here on the on the cheek or was it this cheek? I can't remember which side. He got him on the um, he got him on the right side. And goes in for some some shots. Um, tries to do a couple combinations. Waterman goes in for uh, changes level. Goes in for a takedown. And Herman starts throwing some some elbows and a couple of them, two of them that I could count. Mo a majority of them were to the side of the head. There were two of them that definitely did hit the back of the head. So you know, I don't know where. I, I think Yamasaki was the referee for that. I don't know where he was at in the spectrum, being able to see everything. But there were two shots that were questionable. Um, otherwise, the, the four that I counted, there were four good, solid strikes to the side of the head that rocked Waterman pretty good. Um, and then Waterman's kind of just dazed, and then uh, Herman kind of rolls over and then just starts in the mount throwing some shots and just puts Waterman out on the mat. Um, this kid is somebody to watch out for. Um, of course, you know, it was against Ron Waterman. It was against a guy that's a little bit older. Like I said, Waterman's... Um, Older, he's been around uh, for a long time, um, but uh, Herman's got some impressive striking skills, and uh, if he just keeps progressing, that's a kid to look out for. I was really, really impressed with him. So um, uh, Dave Herman wins via first round TKO. So um, those were um, the fights. That's my review of this event. Um, pretty good event overall. Um, I was impressed with the majority of the fights. Uh, leave some comments. Construct a negative positive. And on that note, you guys. Have a great day.